Welcome back. You're still on to TVC News at 7. Now to Education Matters, where candidates of the 2024 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination have been warned to avoid patronizing fake websites. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board gave the warning at a joint press conference with the Nigeria Police Force in Abuja. And they warned that any candidate whose number is found on the site will be disqualified from taking part in the exercise. Our correspondent, Helen Osamide Akins, reports. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board on 11th April announced that the notification slip of candidates who applied for the 2024 UTME is ready. The slip contained vital information such as the candidate date of examination, venue and time of the examinations, but there are now several fixed websites designed to deceive candidates into providing personal details such as registration numbers, email addresses and phone numbers which are exploited for malicious purposes. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board is partnering with the Nigerian Police Force National Cyber Crime Center to address these issues. So many things so that we can continue to collaborate. Parents, guidance, and all stakeholders are urged to ensure that candidates print their UTME notification slips only from the board approved websites. Both JAMP and the Nigeria Police Force condemn these fraudulent activities and hereby reiterate the readiness to safeguard the interests of candidates and maintain the integrity of the examination process. Any candidates who visit these fake sites will definitely have unreliable information and thereby miss out in the forthcoming exams. What we are doing is to ensure that uh, the, our teaming candidates are not uh, defrauded. We will continue to play our own role as a regulator. We will continue to ensure that these candidates who have expressed their interest in registering for this exercise are not misled. What these people want to do, this is their season. And we are urging candidates to note that once you receive any unsolicited message, know that it is fraud. It the Nigerian police force vowed to go after scammers and fraudsters who engage in cyber-related crimes and create sites and portal to defraud or enhance my practice. Helen Osamide Kings, TVC News, Abuja.